Monica and friends in Say what I say and do what I do Who? When she gets here, you start, okay? Leave it to me. <laughs> Jimmy Five, tell the truth. Are you really thinking of doing that to Monica? Of course I will, Smudge. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see that. She's coming over. Leave Look. it all to me, dude. <laughs> Check it Do out. It. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? I was actually looking for you. I was actually looking for you. Were you really? Were you really? Why don't we play? Why don't we play? I know, how about we play house? I know, how about we play house? That's what I just said. That's what I just said. Wait a second, Jimmy Five. Is it possible that you're copying me? Wait a second, Jimmy Five. Is it possible that you're copying me? Oh no, that dumb game is the oldest game there is in the book. Oh no, that dumb game is the oldest game there is in the book. Well, I don't care that you're doing it. Well, I don't care that you're doing it. You're a dummy. I don't want to play with you anymore. Bye. You're a dummy. I don't want to play with you anymore. Bye. eventually. Dummy Monica. <laughs> you are Willy. You are. You are Willy a big dummy Monica! Mm. Well, well, you got through that. Now let's see if you can repeat this one. Well, well, you got through that. Now let's see if you can repeat this one. Monica is a shorty, a fatty, and she's buck tooth. Mm. Monica is. Uh, a shorty, a fatty, and she's fucked <laughs> out! <laughs> Look 
saw the whole thing, Jimmy Five. Awesome, so cool. Yeah, it was really awesome, huh, Smudge? <laughs> <laughs> when you said that you'd give Monica a hard time with the copying thing, I didn't believe you, but now I do. <laughs> Can you see her face when she said, a shorty, a fatty, and buck tooth? <laughs> it was so great. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that she's still running away. I can't see her face right now. Hi, Monica. What? Monica! Monica! Oh. Oh. Ah. Ow. Oh. Ow. Ow. Oh. Oh. And that's so you will remember this one thing. I can never, ever, ever be copied. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch, ouch, Cannot be copied, huh, Jimmy Five? Cannot be copied, huh, Jimmy Five? Oh, who in the world just said that? Huh? Who in the world just said that? Who knows? I know it wasn't me. Huh? Who knows? I know it wasn't me. Well, yeah. isn't this just a cheeky little flog? Well, isn't this just a cheeky little flog? <laughs> Yep, catch it. If not Dick Plan. <laughs> huh? It sounds like there's a stuttering duck laughing around here. <laughs> hmm? Jimmy Five, did you happen to see a stuttering duck laughing around here? There's no stuttering duck, Smudge. It's just me sitting here laughing. You? What for? What's the joke? Tell me, tell me, go. Oh, no, I know what that face means. It's the dumb face that you make whenever you have to come up with a plan to defeat Monica. Mm-hmm. I'm not in the mood for getting hit today. Bye. Wait a second, partner, because this plan is foolproof. Foolproof, huh? Every one of your foolproof plans always ends up the same way. Both of us beat up on the floor, seeing stars around our heads. Then I will just have to prove to you that my hypnotic plan is the perfect plan. Oh, yeah? And how exactly do you plan to do that? Just wait a second. Hmm, ah, uh, yes. Oh, there it is. Look deep into my eyes. Look very deeply into my eyes. Huh? It will clear your mind. Your big head is becoming empty, even emptier than it already is. You no longer have any free will. From here on out, you will be my slave now. Yes, empty. Your slave. Got it. Now go and get me a popsicle. Yes, master. A popsicle for my master. Here it is, master. Yum, chocolate. Well, I would prefer mango, but this will do for now. And now to get him out of the twins, I just need to snap my fingers. You can wake up now. Huh? So, how can you be certain that this foolproof hypnotic plan of yours won't be a fiasco? Are you doubting me? Do you know who paid for this popsicle? You did. Who, me? Yes, you did, and then you gave me the change. <laughs> I don't believe you. Check this out. I had two bucks in my pocket and... Huh? Wait, where's my money? It disappeared? Don't be such a fool. You bought me this popsicle. I told you all this. And you ate all of it without sharing? You, you big meanie. You see? And this time you won't be able to ruin our plans or be able huh? to turn us in. Because I am the only one who can end the twins by a quick snap of my fingers. Oh, so there's no way that I can ruin everything? Not this time, no. <laughs> that fat shorty would do everything you want her to do. That's cool. That fatty's gonna buy us a whole lot of popsicles. <laughs> what huh? popsicle smudge? I'm talking about her little bunny. Oops, look, here she comes now. Hey there, guys, what are you up to? You're a little bunny. But first off, the baldy here will hypnotize you so your head will become even emptier than mine. Smudge, stop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Oh, what are you talking about? What are you planning, Jimmy Five? Go ahead, tell me! Calm down, Monica. You're gonna find out right now. Just look deep into my eyes. You are now losing your free will. You are my slave. Now you will do everything I ask. 
Yes, Master. Huh? Oh, I can't believe it worked. It worked. Of course it worked out, you non-believer. Now we just ask for the bunny and... No, hold on. I want a popsicle, too. Wait, you want a what? A popsicle. Didn't you get a popsicle? Well, now I want one, too. All right. Hey, Slade, bring us two popsicles right away. Yes, Master. Two popsicles. Anything else, Master? Well, here we go, Smudge. Here we go. All right, listen up, Fatty. I want you to give me your little bunny. Of course, Master. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Grab that bunny already. Give it to me. We did it. We defeated the bug, too. <laughs> the bunny is ours. Hooray! Hooray! 20 hooray! <laughs> Now it's my turn. Gimme, gimme. Well, well, defeating Monica is far more exhausting than I expected and made me feel hot and tired. How about you bring us something to cool us down, huh? Yes, Master. Ah, and also bring us lemonade and make sure it's nice and ice cold. Yes, Master. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It sounds like a bulldog that has a stomach ache, but it's still laughing. A bulldog with a stomach ache and a starving chicken, too. What? I cannot believe it. Me neither. Did Monica turn into a zombie? Hooray, it's a party. Monica is giving out lemonade and fanning everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it is, some kind of madhouse, huh? If I were you, I wouldn't hold my breath. Wait a sec, what's going on over here? Yeah, what is this? Why is Monica only fronting the two of you? Well, that's because we are the new owners of the street, my friends. That's correct. We own the street, the village, the neighborhood, even the old swamp out there behind the football field. Wait, you two have defeated Monica? <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> There's no way. It's probably just a prank. Where are the cameras? Where? <laughs> you two can never defeat Monica, not even if she were a chimpanzee trained to do some tricks. <laughs> <laughs> but the two of us defeated her. Sure, but look who's talking. It's the bulldog with the stomach ache. The bulldog and the starving chicken. <laughs> bulldog with the stomach ache? A starving chicken? So, tell me your trick. How exactly did you manage to get the bunny away from Monica? It was easy. I just looked deep into her eyes and said, now you two are my slaves also. <laughs> Yes, Master. You hypnotized the two of them as well. That's so awesome. Now I think it's time we had a little bit of fun with these two wagons here. So cool. I'm going to go run home to get my football and then... No, I'm not talking about that kind of fun, you dough. No? If not, what will you ask them to do? <laughs> Who's the bulldog now, huh? What about the starving chicken, huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> My plan to hypnotize them all worked. We are the best of the best. <laughs> That's the truth. We're the best, and <laughs> <laughs> we... Wowzers, what's up with her? What is she doing now, huh? I don't know, but she looks like a chimpanzee trained to do tricks. A chimpanzee that was trained to do tricks? Ah! That's what Bucky huh? said. Oh, do you remember, Smudge? I do, 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 do remember, Jimmy Five. And do you remember that if you snapped your fingers, they would get out of their trances? Ah! Uh, wait a second, you guys. Let's talk about this. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you and your foolproof plan. Well, I told you that we were going to end up beat up on the floor seeing stars around our heads. You need to look on the bright side, Smudge. At least they're not stars. Huh? We're seeing little buddies. <laughs> hmm? Jelly Bean Gone Missing. Oh, what a wonderful Saturday morning. There's nothing like waking up bright and early in the afternoon to fully enjoy the day. One, two, one, two. Oh, boy. I almost forgot him. Wake up, Jelly Bean. It's morning and there are no clouds in the... Oh. What is that? No, no, no. What's wrong, <laughs> Smudge? Oh, no, don't move. Ah! There we go. You can stop that crying now. What the heck? Would you care to tell me why you just sucker punched me? I was going to kill that huge spider that built that web on your head, buddy. Spider web? This is not a spider web, you dummy. No? Well, then, did you get a new Spidey Guy costume? 
No, idiot. It's just a hairnet that my grandma gave me so my hair won't get tangled during my sleep. Mm-hmm. Okay, but then you can tell me. Why were you screaming like an old goat? Oh, that's right. I forgot again. Ah, my jelly bean is gone. <laughs> Come on, seriously? You need all this drama. Here, I don't have any jelly beans, but you can have this mint walk. Don't worry. Ah, that's not it at all. I want my sweet and lovely pet gecko back in my arms. Every morning I wake up and she greets me with a smile. But not today. There's no smile. No. Oh my gosh. You think she ran away? Get real now, Smudge. Why would a gecko run away from oh, home? You're right. <laughs> but what if she was by the window singing with some passing birds and accidentally fell outside and then terrified and lost? She wandered off by herself aimlessly in this wild world. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me. What do you think we're doing now? I'm sitting by the telephone. She might call me at any moment. Who do you think might call, dude? Duh, Jelly Bean. She might call me from a public phone asking for my help. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll go outside and be back soon. <laughs> Hello, Smudge. It's me, <laughs> your pet gecko. Jelly Bean, where in the world did you go? Has anything happened to you? I was by the window whistling uh -huh. with the birds when I fell over. Now I don't even know what window it was. And what do I do? Go place Ooh. a mango popsicle in the kitchen windowsill now. A mango popsicle on the kitchen windowsill? What for? Uh, well, that way I'll be able to smell it and be able to find my way back home. On my way! On my way! Ooh, done! Hello? Jelly bean? Ooh. So what's up? Has there been any news? Huh? Oh, Jelly Bean called me as soon as she left and she What's that oh. you're eating there? It's just a mango popsicle. Well, now aren't you just a freeloader? You know that's my favorite flavor and you don't even offer me any. Yeah. As I was just saying, oh, Jelly Bean hung up as soon as I picked up the telephone. What could have happened to my beautiful plushy <laughs> gecko? Wait a sec. It's a plushie? You mean your gecko was just a plush toy? Well, yeah, but inside of my heart, I love her as if she was a real gecko. Oh, then that's something else. Think about it. What if someone, someone evil and cruel, decided to steal your gecko from you? Someone who's had their plush toy stolen so many times that now they've decided that they want revenge. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Who? It's Monica, you giant pumpkin head. Monica? Of course. Right now she's probably torturing your sweet poor jelly bean. <laughs> making knots out of her long, plushy tail and... Hey, boys. <laughs> What's going on with you two? Why, you evil, short, fat... Huh? Give me my jelly bean back! Oh, what happened to me? Did I hit my head? No, it was much cooler than that. It was like one of those funny home videos. First, you jumped out the window headfirst into a trash can. And then the trash can rolled down the hill, spinning around until it smashed huh? against a twerk full of chickens. And then oh. the camera was flying and fell onto a coconut selling stand on the street. And then the chickens and coconuts flew everywhere. <laughs> and you guys didn't do anything? Yes, we did. I recorded it all. Well, I was laughing real hard. <laughs> but wait a second. Why am I only wearing undies? Oh, yeah, your mom had to go and wash your other clothes. They had this awful smell of trash bag and wadding eggs with a little small hint of sweet coconut. Okay, what about Jelly Bean? Listen, Jimmy Five already told me that you suspected me. Uh, yeah. But you should know that I would never do that to you. So then, if you didn't do it, mm. who did? Mm. Oh, stop being so silly, Smudge. <laughs> she could have just gotten lost anywhere in the middle of all this stuff. Oh? Just take a look how messy your room is. A mess? What do you mean? I tidied everything up in here yesterday. Then tell me why all of those comic books are in your underwear drawers. Well, that's because my bottle cap collection is inside my comic book box. So I had to take out all of my underwear from the drawers and hang them up in my closet. Then where are all your t-shirts that should be in there? Where else would they be? Under my bed in the spot where my bottle cap collection usually goes. Oh, gee, Smudge, this bedroom looks like it's a madman's house. How are you ever going to find your gecko in all this mess? Ah, there's no way. That couldn't even happen to Jelly Bean because she never leaves the bed. Really? Let me check the bed then. 
Ew, gross. What is that, Smudge? What is it? What is it? Uh, it looks like... Mmm, it's a mango ice cream. Oh, I remember. It was so hot in the room last night that I brought this tub of ice cream so that I can eat it in bed. But I thought that I had put it back in the, uh... Hey, Smudge. Huh? Tell me, what was your plushy pet gecko doing inside of the freezer, son? Jelly Bean! You're telling me that you were in there all along? <laughs> ah. What a silly ending! That's so typical, Smudge. Come with me so we can go put this video on the internet. <laughs> son, there's just one other little thing I'd like to ask you. What is it? Do you remember yesterday when I went to bed and left you and your dad watching TV? Mm-hmm. And do you remember how I asked you to take him to bed if he fell asleep? And I did, right after I put Shelby back inside the pig pen, I think. Well, then can you tell me where your dad is? Huh? <laughs> dad! A slightly foolproof plan. Jimmy Five, what's wrong with you? Do you need to use the bathroom again? No, Smudge, get wheel man. I'm trying to lift this big walk up. Listen to me, buddy. Faith can, in fact, move mountains. But in this case here, it's much easier to use your hands. See? What if we could bring the tractor over here and- No, you big dummy. I am trying to lift this big walk up by only using the power of my mind. Jimmy Five, are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure you didn't slip on the soap bar and hit your head against the toilet seat again? Because the last time that happened, you thought you were a ripe fruit and spent two days hanging from a tree waiting to fall down to the ground. Ah, please, Smudge. I'm being completely serious. I'm twining myself to become a paranormal. Hmm? Para what? Paranormal. They are those guys that are super powerful. They can levitate things, bend forks, and who can read other people's thoughts. Wow, I didn't know that paranoids were able to do all of that. Can I be a paranoid too? Can I, huh? Not paranoid, you bobo. I said paranormal. Can you imagine how cool it would be to move things using only my mind? I will become the absolute coolest, the boss of the world, the master of the entire universe. <laughs> Moving things around using only your mind? That would only happen if you were to headbutt them with that thick head of yours. <laughs> you won't find all of this so funny when I've acquired my new superpowers and become the new owner of the tweet. Owner of the tweet? Will you become a bird master now? Just a minute ago, you said you wanted to be a parasite, and now you want to own all the tweets. <laughs> I did not say parasite. I said paranormal, you bozo. <sighs> He's just jealous. He only shows up in other people's stories to fill up some empty space. He'll see soon. I did it! I did it! I did it! <laughs> I am amazing! I'm the man, you heard? <laughs> now I'm ready to face the whole world! But is the world ready to face me? Oh, sweetie, you come with Mommy because it's time for your afternoon nap now. Mommy? Ha! Hmm? If I didn't know that you were an only child, I could swear that I thought you two were twins. <laughs> what? Oh, I mean, come on. Just look at the size of that thing's teeth. They're exactly like yours. Let's not forget about the size of its belly, too. Jimmy Five, are you calling me buck toothed and chubby to my face? Sorry, sorry, my bad. I forgot to call you Shorty first. Yeah, the six dwarves must be desperately looking for you everywhere. <laughs> Jimmy Five, are you okay? Are you sure you didn't slip on the soap bar and hit your head against the toilet seat again? Because the last time that happened, you thought that you were a ripe fruit and... Enough, you, you toothy will! What? Chubby Shorty and Bucktooth. I'm gonna show you now! <laughs> what did you just do? Did you just turn Samson into a balloon? Oh, my heavens, give me patience. I'm a paranormal! Para what? Power normal! I'm levitating a glowy bunny using only the powers tucked away in my brilliant mind, huh? Well? That's so cool! I didn't know parachutes could do all that! Not a parachute, you moron! It's power normal! Uh, I don't believe you. Oh, really? Then feast your eyes on this twig! <gasps> Samson! Give me back my bunny! Give it back! 
Okay. <laughs> Can you believe me now? It's the end of the world for you, Bucktooth. <laughs> I don't care if you're a parasol, a parakeet, or even paralyzingly silly. This is not going to end like this. Of course it won't end like this. It's going to end a lot worse. <laughs> what did you just do to me? Did you turn me into a balloon as well? Are you not paying attention? I'm paranormal, my goodness! Actually, though, from where I'm standing here, you actually do look like a balloon. But not a potty balloon, one of those hot air kind. Huge and wet. <laughs> you put me down right now! I don't think I will, balloon. Uh, I'm not a balloon, I want to get down from here! Well, I'll bring you down, but with one condition. Yes, yes, anything, just say the word. I want to become the new owner of the tweet. The owner of the tweet? Will you become a bird master now? No, no, no. I want to own all of Lemon Tweet's tweet. What do you say? What? What, what? Do I have to answer something? You have to name me the new owner of the tweet. Well, that's fine by me. It's not like I was born to be a manager anyway. Away, away, 20 aways. I finally defeated Monica. I'm the new owner of this tweet. Away, excuse away. Excuse me, excuse me. Can you hurry up and get me down? My soap opera is about to start in. Okay, okay. You can come down now. <gasps> oh, Jimmy, die! I'll get you for this! Down, down. Whoa! Huh? Where did that bug tooth go? Up here, you doofus! Oh my gosh! Come down! Down! It's not working now! Come down! Ah! Oh my goodness! I'm gonna be squashed by that fatty! What do I do? What do I do? Jimmy, ah! Aha! I'm the best ever! I'm amazing! I didn't let Monica fall! Ah! Jimmy, fine! You did it! You saved me from that fall! Jimmy, five? Of course I'm okay. I just have a really terrible headache. What just happened? What? You don't remember anything? Remember what? You were a para... a para... paramount? No, no, no. A, a paraphrase. A paramedic. Paraffin. A para... no, no, no. Paralelogram. No, a parabolic. That's it. You're a parabolic. A paraplegic? I was a paraplegic. That's what you were. I think I'll go home now and rest for a little bit. It's almost time for my soap opera. The color pink. What's up, Baldy? You up for some grub, bud? How about you prepare us some sandwiches with a little bit of... But you'll never guess what. I just figured out why Monica's so angry all the time. Monica? No way! I'm out of here! Calm down. Wait a sec. I'm not talking about any plans. Really? Are you feeling okay? I am, dummy. I'm just talking about a new theory. Now pay attention. Do you happen to know why Monica's always in such a bad mm, mood? Because you and I are always making fun of her? No! It's because of that wet dress she's always wearing. Is her red dress uh, always making fun of her, too? No, you idiot! It's because of that wet dress is a wet color. And Monica gets irritated by the color red. Oh, just like a bull when it sees a red cop waving in front of its eyes. May I continue now? It's all right here in this book, The Psychology of Colors. Listen up. The color red is the color of anger. Oh, the dress is just a fighting. Do you get it? Monica's always wearing that wet dress. And that's the reason why she's always so angry. And do you really believe that's the cause? There's only one way to find out. By taking off of my dress. What? I don't ever want to see that fatty naked. I'm out. Wait, you idiot. It's not as bad as what you're thinking. Is it worse? Let's go to your house and get your piggy bank, and I'll explain it on the way. My piggy bank? I knew that this was going to get way worse. What do you want with my piggy bank? It's just to execute this plan, I'm going to need a little bit of cash. What? Plan? But you just did a saying you weren't making any plans. And you believe what I said? You're so gullible. <laughs> La 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 Now what should I wear today? Ah, there it is! It's just perfect! It's so pretty red! I love it! Coming! Oh, it's a gift! To Monica.
Monica, my dearest love. I would really like it if you wear this today. Oh, wow, I wonder who sent this to me, my grandmother? P.S. No, you dummy, it's from a secret admirer. <gasps> wow, a secret admirer? And he sent a present just for me? What could it be? <gasps> How pretty, it's a beautiful pink dress. My mom told me I should never take presents from strangers. But if it's from Ricky, he's not a stranger. So that means I can wear it. <sighs> Yoo-hoo, Maggie. <gasps> what do you think of my brand new look? Did you gain more weight? No, Maggie. <laughs> then what exactly is new? Well, it's this super fashionable new dress that I got. Whoever gave it to you has some weird taste. It's not weird. This was given to me by a secret admirer. Really? And who is he? I don't know since it's a secret. But just between us, I'm almost certain that it's from Ricky. Oh, it's from Ricky. You mean the cutest boy in the neighborhood? <laughs> Are you done yet? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, but you, you look so different wearing a pink dress. It's almost like you're a different person. And that's exactly how I feel, too. I'm a much calmer, more delicate person now. <laughs> really? <laughs> ha! Didn't I tell you? The thing we have colors is flawless. Yeah, but your plans are not. But only when you ruin them all. Come, let's continue on the second part of the plan. Well, this is when everything usually goes downhill. What's up, everything cool? It's all good. Wowzers, Monica, you have such a mm -hmm. nice new dress. Oh, thank you so much, Jimmy Five. Do you like it? But of course. It looks like it makes you more sweet and more calm now. Yes. <laughs> I feel at peace with the whole world. <laughs> What's up, you coward? You gonna keep stalling or are you gonna do it already? I put in the cash and now it's time for you to do your part. <laughs> uh, and that's why she don't even look like a usual fat egg with himself. What? Oh man, he's gonna get it now. <laughs> Listen here, you spoiled little rat. I'm going to let it slide this time, but next time. What the heck? I can't believe it. Wowzers, how are you able to control yourself? Oh, Maggie, dear, I just don't want to crinkle my new dress before Ricky gets the chance to see me in it. Ah, I get it. Did you see that, Smudge? It worked and I'm still alive. <laughs> was it or wasn't the investment worth it? Yes, it was. Now let's make sure we get our money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Monica! You know what you look like in that dress? Huh? Like a big whale! <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope, like a big fat pink elephant. <laughs> Must be a really short, fat pink elephant with banana hair. <laughs> no, she's a hippopotamus with a barrel dress. <laughs> Why did you not friend remember about the Ricky? Where the heck is he hiding anyway? Wow, what's happening around here, huh? Monica, he's here. Oh, it's Ricky. Hi, I was getting so tired of waiting for you. You see, I'm wearing the pink dress that you got for me, just like you asked me to do. Me? Yeah. Listen, Monica, honestly, I couldn't care less what clothes you're wearing. Oh, that's so sweet. You see that? He even likes you no matter what. Mm -hmm. Listen up, kid. Will you stop interrupting here? We are just getting started over here. Now, where were we again? Calling Monica names. She's a shorty, fatty, a fat to the dummy. Holy <laughs> sweet, Ricky, aren't you going to defend me from those awful little brats? Me? But why would I? Oh, well, because you're my secret admirer, after all. I'm your secret admirer? <laughs> That's hilarious! I'd have to be crazy. Huh? Monica's secret admirer? A silly, short, uncool girl that looks like a shrew? <laughs> I have had <laughs> enough. There was no need for you to say all that. Oh, I can't watch. I can. Oh, I've never been so hurt. What a disappointment. What a bad joke. I get hit and she's the one crying. I don't ever want to see this awful dress again. I'll throw it in the trash before What? No way, girl. That dress cost me an arm and a leg. And if you hate it, then I can give it to someone else. What'd you say? Jimmy Five even made me buy the most expensive one just because it was the pink one. Look, the plan was... All of this was one of his plans? Calm down, Monica. We were wearing pretty pink, remember? <laughs> <laughs> I never want to look at that pink dress again, Maggie. I like this one better. I'm glad to see that you're cheerful again, my friend. Oh, Maggie, when I wear red, I feel like myself. <laughs>
I know it went long, Smudge. I got the wrong color. In order to make her calm down, Monica has to wear blue. No way, Jimmy Five. No matter what color she wears, not pink or red or blue, we always end up like this. <laughs> with a pair of black eyes. <laughs>